Ready to meet the newest member of the Console One mixing system? I'm Todd from SoftTube, and this is Console One Fader Mark III. Those of you familiar with Fader are going to be excited by the new features. And for those of you new to Console One, be prepared to maximize the power of your studio by adding one or more Fader units to Console One channel to create the ultimate mixing system. Fader is more than 10 faders for your DAW. It's the centerpiece of your studio, and when combined with Console One Channel, gives you a workflow and experience that no other fader product on the market can provide. Let's see what's new with Console One Fader Mark III. The Control. Console One Fader gives you control over your most essential DAW parameters such as volume, pan, solo, mute, track selection, and sends. And as you see here, the control is supported by all major DIWs. Let's take a closer look. Using the buttons at the top, we can solo tracks. Or we can mute tracks. Faders give you direct control of DAW volume, but can also be used to control other parameters such as pan or sends. Let's send to some reverbs and delays. You can control up to six sends from console one fader. The track selectors at the bottom not only select the track in your DAW, but also select the track for which you can use the knob at the right to control pan. One of my favorite features is being able to adjust track width by holding shift and using the pan knob. Give it a try, it works magic. And if you have more than 10 tracks in your session, you can use the page button to bank by 10, or use shift plus page to offset the bank of 10 by one track at a time. <music> 10 high resolution screens. The most obvious update with Fader Mark III are the 10 gorgeous high-resolution screens. But these screens are more than just studio bling. They carry over track name, number, color, and metering to help convey the most important information in your session. And those colors carry over to the 10 track selector buttons at the bottom to help make track navigation even faster than ever. And when Fader is paired with Console One Channel, you can see that there is a synergy between the screens to give you a ton of feedback on your mix session, such as VU meters, EQ curves, and gain reduction, without needing to look up at your computer monitor. The feel. The feel of the 10 analog feel motorized faders are just the start of what Fader Mark III offers. Touch capacitance means that fader is always aware of which faders are being touched. But it can also be used to speed up workflow by using a feature such as Select on Touch, where you're able to select tracks just by touching the faders. But what makes fader revolutionary is the new haptic feedback. You can easily find unity by closing your eyes and getting an indication when you hit zero on your fader. If you accidentally push a fader too far and start clipping, Haptic feedback will let you know with a slight vibration. And for those of you using a fader to control pan, haptic feedback lets you know where the center point is, making automation even easier. 
and discrete parameters such as EQ frequencies can be felt when working in the new parameter mode. We'll talk about that in a bit. Best of all, haptic feedback is customizable in terms of strength. If you want to turn it off, you can. And if you want anything from a light indication to a full stop when you reach certain values, this is all customizable in your settings. Parameter mode. Your faders can now control anything that's loaded into console one channel. And the workflow couldn't be easier. Let's say that we want to control a low cut from fader. Just hold param and touch the low cut button. Now make your cut. Let's try sweeping an EQ band. I'll boost it first, and then I'll assign my fader to the EQ frequency and sweep around for a nice effect. Let's load in the British Class A EQ. Instead of having a sweepable frequency range, there are set frequency points. And with haptic feedback, discrete parameters such as stepped EQ frequencies can now be felt as you cross from one frequency to the other, making parameter mode feel incredible as you mix. Work smarter, work faster. Let's say I want to focus on my kick, snare, and bass. I select each of these tracks and click favor. Then by shift clicking favorites, I'm in favorites mode, where console one mixing system focuses only on these tracks. When I'm done with my leveling and sculpting, shift click to get back to your full session. If you are organizing your session using folders and Pro Tools or track stacks in Logic, Console One Mixing System reflects exactly what you see as you open and close those folders. Let's switch over to Logic. As I collapse each of my track stacks, you can see that Console One Fader follows exactly what the mixer shows us. This helps to keep Console One Channel and Fader perfectly in sync with your DAW session. It also helps to reduce the number of tracks visible on your hardware when you want to focus only on specific folders or groups for a stem mix style workflow. Expand your system. You can customize Console One Mixing System to fit your studio needs. Use Console One Channel on its own. Use Console One Fader on its own. Pair Console One Channel next to Fader. Or use a stand to place Channel directly on top of Fader. Want to go even bigger? Use Channel with two Fader units. Or, for those of you looking to recreate the feel of a large format console, pair Channel with four Fader units for a total of 40 Faders. This is just an overview of all you can do with Console One Fader. And those of you that are familiar with the Console One history know that this is just the beginning with much more to come. Visit softtube.com to learn more and add Console One Fader to your studio today. <laughs>